there, there was one kind of set of questions that had come up and another kind of theme that I wanted to talk about that I saw in the Facebook group. And so in terms of the theme, I saw um, a lot of people talking about, like I, I'm having this experience, has anyone got anything they can say that will help, right? Or I'm having this kind of thinking, or I'm really stuck in this area. Is that, can anyone help? Can anyone, what should I do about this? Can anyone help me? And, and, it, and I could see that the, the focus can sometimes, it's so easy for us to get caught up on the focus being, how do I change this experience? How do I change this thinking? It's the real looking at the content of thought and saying, well, how do I change this negative experience into one that isn't so painful? Or how do I change this negative thought into a positive one? It's a constructionist approach, if you like. It's like, how do I construct a better reality? Can anyone recommend a podcast? Can anyone pass me a video? Can anyone share some words of wisdom? What would you do in this situation? How can you help me not have this upset thinking, not have this anxious thinking, not have this confused thinking, not have this lack of clarity, not have this upset, and either make it not so bad or, or, or make it positive. Like, how can, I, how can I change and swap the thinking I'm having to construct a more beautiful experience? Because if it's true that thought creates reality, then how do I get better thinking? How do I, how do I swap this negative thought out for positive thought is, is essentially what's being said, which is the same as saying, how do I swap this negative experience for a positive one, or at least a neutral one? Is saying, how do I, how do I construct a new story? How do I change my experience? How do I, con yeah, how do I construct a new story that's nicer than the one I'm currently living in? And, and it's kind of downstream of where, the print, where we're trying to point to with the principles conversation, because what we are looking at is not how do we construct a better story, but can we see that the, that all the stories are created we're looking we're looking when we're looking in the direction of where Sid Banks is pointing us to we're looking in the direction of what's before all thought what's creating all the stories not how do I add in a better one on top of this one that will squish down the old thinking right and give me a new story but what can I see? The question I would love you to sit with is like, what can I see such that I'm not interested in any thought, any stories? Like no story is so compelling and interesting anymore. That, that I see something about the nature of thought such that there's no longer a need to swap the negative for the positive, that that thought can just blah, 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 play on the radio in the corner and I don't have to get so engaged with it. What can I see about the nature of thought such that what thought is currently playing in front of my mind at the moment is thought schmort, right? It's like, who cares? The content of the thinking. It's a, this is a subtractive conversation. It's an emptying out. It's the being willing to put all thought down, to step before all thought. When we see the constructed nature of reality, when we see thoughts rolling in creating, oh, I don't like this, I do like this. This is sad, this is terrible. This is joyful, this is upsetting. Christmas is great, Christmas is crap. Lockdown is brilliant, lockdown is terrible. And when we start to see the, the created nature of, of our reality, then thought can kind of say what it likes I'm not really that bothered and when we see that we become free of thought we've become free of our relationship to thought changes such that we we experience a, f a freedom with it that's what it is not a freedom from it but a freedom with it and when we're not so focused in on the content of thought all the time we have the opportunity to to open up it's like the, there's an example I'm going to over metaphor tonight I can tell already but there's there's an example of something I was talking to a client about and I was talking to him about the fact that it's like we walk around staring at the pavement 
looking at all the graffiti written on the pavement all the time and we're like oh I don't like that bit of graffiti but that's a nice color and that one and that's quite a good design but I wish there wasn't so much graffiti and how do we get rid of all the graffiti and and can you tell me some strategies I'm looking down here and I'm I'm going to draw my own graffiti on top of that graffiti and see if it makes the other graffiti look nicer and maybe that graffiti over there can be added to my graffiti and if I add enough in in the right way or if I work really hard at rubbing the graffiti out, like, will that be helpful to me? Will I have a nicer experience? And eyes down, focusing, looking, reading the pavement. But but what is it? But what does it say on the pavement about the principles? <laughs> Which podcast is listed on the pavement that I can that will be helpful to me? Like, what can I think about? What can I not think about? What can I do with thought? Like, tell me. Just constantly looking at the pavement for answers. And what the principles invites us to do is look up. Because the answers aren't found on the pavement. Everything you're looking for is never found in thought. It's never found as a result of thought. Happiness is not, does not come as a result of nicer thinking. It doesn't. Happiness comes from looking up, stepping before all thought. And then it doesn't matter what's written on the pavement. And everything will be written on the pavement. It always does. And every time we look down, and we're human beings, so we do, right? Every time we look down, there'll be a mishmash of good and good and bad and pretty and ugly and goodness knows what on the pavement. There always is. But right now, there's always the option to, to look up, to raise our eyes from the pavement, to, to, and look at what? I don't know. Nothing. Everything. I can't tell you, but not this way. And, and, but we have to be willing to, to look up, to get interested in something other than the pavement. So when you're, if you're sharing with me, like I'm having, I'm, I'm looking at the pavement and it says some pretty crappy things right now. Like I, you have my empathy because I know what it's like to stare at the pavement and have really crappy things written there and really feel them strongly. Right? We, we all know that feeling. But for me to get in there and try and help you change what's written on the pavement or to try and talk to you about what's written on the pavement as if it's real and true and not just written in chalk that's going to be washed off three seconds from now or two weeks from now. It's all written in chalk, guys. None of it's, per it's not in permanent marker. None of it. It's all just writing on the pavement in chalk gets washed away and something new appears and it gets washed away and something new appears for me to get in there and do a therapy session with you guys talking about what's currently written on the pavement in chalk is what, what podcast can I listen to that will change the chalk on the on the pavement it's like well, you don't need to worry about the rain does that <laughs> you don't need to nothing you need to do nothing you need to do here like the rain does that so the story is always being rewritten Always, always, always. You get to see the temporary transient nature of thought. 